Ah, you've come just in time. I'm in need of an assistant for a magic experiment. I'm sure you're eager to do me a favor for science's sake. Easy, my friend. First tell me what this is all about. I have developed a new spell, a spell of oblivion. I've already successfully carried out a few practical applications, but I don't have time to conduct one final test. What's in it for me if I help you? I could teach you how to brew potions. I know the recipes for healing and mana essences and for potions of great speed. Tell me more about the experiment and the spell. The spell serves to make somebody forget various events. So far, I have only found it to work when the person in question is angry, for instance. If he has been knocked down or robbed, even if he has only witnessed such a deed, he will scratch it from his memory. So I'm supposed to knock somebody down and then put a spell on him? Yes, I think you get the point. But to make somebody angry, it is enough to attack him. You don't have to knock him down. So you should pick somebody who's by himself. If there are other people around, you'll just get into trouble with Lord Andre. Also, it makes no sense to cast the spell on someone who's busy attacking you. Wait for the right moment. All right, I'll try out that spell. Then take this spell scroll and find yourself a suitable guinea pig. Once you're done, come back and tell me how it went. My head. I'll have nothing to do with nasty thugs. Go to Lord Andre while you... Cut out that magic. Hey, you're not quite as stupid as you look. I used the spell scroll. Fine, fine. And were you successful? Yes, it worked. Excellent. 
One small success for science, but a big one for me. Now, I can use my time to instruct you in the arts of alchemy. I could also give you some useful things if you want. Instruct me in the art of alchemy. To prepare a potion at the alchemist's bench, you need a laboratory flask. And you're going to need different plants or other ingredients for each potion. Show me your wares. 